Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Hello Geminis, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the Cross Watcher of the Gemini. And this is your bonus readings where we're going to be using the Past Life Oracle cards in the beginning. And then we are going to use, of course, other cards to tie all of the energy in, past, present, and future. First card you have is Leaving a Travel makes a lot of sense because, you know, Mercury is the ruler of Gemini as well as Virgo. So a lot of Geminis have that energy of they're always on the go, they're always moving, right? Or they're always speaking or talking that that Mercury energy, Mercury rules communication, transportation and electronics. So this would definitely be your guys energy here. Um, for this particular past life energy, it feels as if someone was always on the go. They may have been the type of person who their profession was, you know, a traveling salesperson, or this person was a pilot or a flight attendant, right? They were always moving, always on the go. This could also indicate someone who it had nothing to do with their own job or career, but as a child in past lives, they always had to be moving. There's all of this energy of like not being able to take root. And you have biblical. So biblical would be, you know, Jesus, Mary Magdalene, sort of a time period. Uh, there is this energy coming through of someone in this life. They are, it's something about being purified. Almost as if like being baptized. So something about being baptized or feeling baptized in this life, it goes back to a past life. There's some kind of connection. It goes full circle. Even if you're not religious in this life, you might fee have heard that saying of like, oh, I say it all the time that sometimes we go through these like purges and release and the tears that we cry are sort of like our baptismal. You see that kind of a vibe? Like someone here really relates to that kind of an energy of a baptismal or being baptized or purified. And then you also have knighthood. Someone here might be really connected to medieval times, very connected to King Arthur, you know, Guinevere, uh, Lancelot kind of a vibe. Um, some kind of a fairy tale energy here. Reminds me of like Ever After, you know, the movie with Drew Barrymore. Um, there's a sense here of protection as well, though, and that could be why someone was always on the go, because if they were part of an army, right? If they were a soldier, if they were, you know, someone who had to fight and go away, they would always be traveling. Someone here is not religious, but they do relate to a lot of biblical stories. It brings them comfort. They feel like for some odd reason they can connect with it. And, and they're not like necessarily religious. So there's some sort of connection here with biblical energy, stories, the vibe of that time, Jerusalem, mm, King of Wands, mm. Kang Dang Alang, honey. This is Aries Leo Sag. This is someone who is the leader. They're in charge. They could be the fighter, right? This knight, but it's it wouldn't be the knight. He would be a king. Someone in this lifetime is very courageous. They're very brave. They're a go-getter. They are, they're the initiator. They don't sit back and watch things happen. They're also someone who is always prepared for battle. I mean, that's what they do best, right? You know, the King of Wands, it could be related to as if it's like, you know, God of War, which would be the Emperor. They have that same vibe. Justice, Libra, Three of Pentacles, partnership. It's like it's owed to someone. Partnership, being able to settle down, take root is owed to someone. It's karmically owed. And I feel like the reason it's karmically owed is because in a lot of past lives, someone here gave up their life to fight, gave up their life for their country, for their town for their king for their queen and it's almost like this thing where the universe is saying i know that that is what happened we got you this is a life where something it's being repaid six of cups past life energy 
And then the six of pentacles, there's that reciprocity, finally getting what you, what you deserve. Page of Swords, younger air sign. Someone here could be keeping tabs, spying. But I mean, it does give off the same vibe, doesn't it? As like the knight with the sword. Someone here may have very early on been in the military early. Because it gives off that kind of vibe, right? Really young. Young soldier. Two of Wands. This is someone here who is sort of looking towards the future and deciding what they want figuring out, well, do I want to stay single, right? Nine of Pentacles is a single energy. What do I want to do? Do I want to stay single? Do I want to be in a relationship? Am I open to that? It's almost like for the first time, someone here has a choice. Because in the past, it's always sort of been out of their hands and out of their control. Well, I couldn't necessarily be in a relationship because I always had to fight or always at war or always whatever. And this is the first lifetime where it's like, what do you mean I get to choose what direction and what to do and where to go? What do you mean I get to choose if I want to be single or in, or in a relationship? What do you mean? It's like the choice, having the option is like, whoa. Then you have here the angel of patience, temperance. Something is being tempered. They're making something just right. So it's perfect. They want something to be perfect for you. They want to make it nice. Eight of Pentacles. Working really fucking hard on something. This is someone here who has built little by little. They put in a lot of detail in things. They, they might work with their hands. Someone here is very detail oriented, so working really hard, put a step by step, brick by brick. They put their hands on everything they touch. So it's not just what I delegate for everybody else to do. This would be as if the king fights in the war too. He doesn't just send his troops. He actually gets in it and fights too. Someone here always gets their hands dirty. Someone here is a man of honor. Oh, there's his queen. Oh boy. There's his queen. I think I accidentally shuffled him back into the deck. Isn't that funny? He disappeared. Queen of Wands. The Divine Feminine and her raw power. Only the King of Wands knows how to, how to approach, how to handle. You have the Page of Swords again. watching page of pentacles watching waiting for the perfect moment it's almost like someone here is so inexperienced in relationships like they don't even know how to ask someone out on a date whether this is because they were in only one relationship since they were in high school and they just finally got divorced that person so i've never dated before or someone who just never really dated yeah the hermit energy they, they're to themselves this is someone who's introverted, more in, more to themselves. Virgo, hermit. And then the queen of pentacles, someone here who is really, really balanced. And she sits here holding this coin, but this is her coin of truth, her power, her light. Her, she's, it's her badge of honor from healing. The Virgo hermit energy can also be spiritual enlightenment, right? So they both go through a moment of enlightenment, period of time where they enlighten. It's awakening. It's higher consciousness. Seven of Wands. Defensive. Fighting. Someone's always had to fight, so they don't know like what it feels like to relax. To just chill. See, relax and just chill. They don't know how to do that. It's it's like one of those situations where someone, you or them, it's like you have to always tell the person, it's okay, chill out, relax. You don't have to always be working, cleaning, doing stuff, just relax. Like they don't know how to take a vacation. They don't know how to just like take a day off. They're always working, they're workaholics. They're always moving and shaking. It's that kind of an energy.
Perfect timing. Something happens at the exact right moment. It's divine timing at work. And if you believe, Star of David is what I just heard in my head. Sacred geometry. You're ready. If you believe you're not, you're not. If you believe it's there's no love, there's no love. Ask your angels. Someone here needs to pray and ask for divine help within the next few weeks. It's a pretty nice time period within the next few weeks, if you believe. Someone's so, like, inexperienced in that dating or love or something. The snake, competition, enemy, malicious. It's like the, this energy is always on guard. They're always looking for the snakes. They're always looking for fuckery. Mask. Showing true feelings. Right? Because a mask hides it. Someone here is pretending or hiding their feelings. And then heart with the key is welcoming love and meeting the one. It's opening your heart. Bottom of the deck, wedding rings, union. It's like the soldier finally gets to come back home from war, not fight anymore, get married, have kids, live that life. That's this lifetime. And someone doesn't know what to do with that because it's so like foreign to them. It's Greek to them. Like, what do you mean I get to just relax? Relax and then go fight? And they're like, no. Like, relax. Go live. Go fall in love. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Someone here is in a giving mood. You have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. And you have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Someone's really trying not to be super delusional about something. They're really trying to like be very practical and very logical. You want to be a bit of both. You want to be, a, be able to dream big and think magically and, and believe in the impossible. But you also need to have something that's realistic. So yeah, it's that perfect balance between the two. All right, you guys, we're going to head into your extended. And should you wish to rent it, click on that upside down triangle below. It's going to bring up the description page here on YouTube. Very first link will take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. This is going to be in the past life zodiac extended or something of that sort. Also below is my Patreon link, okay? If you love erotic tarot readings, I do them there as well as bonus ones. I'm also going to start um, uploading my lives that I do on YouTube to Patreon so that people can rewatch it there. So I'll only be doing them live on YouTube, taking them off when it's done and then uploading it to Patreon so that patrons can actually get more access to things, okay? Because they pay per month for that. Um, also, I am going to be closing out sessions very soon. And if you wish to book one, please email me saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com. It's the only way to book a session with me. Um, all of my info is below. You must include that in the email. And yeah. Saltwaterhillstower at gmail.com. Uh, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I will see you guys. Oh, on my website. Pre-orders for my peacock theme bracelet. And then here we have the black onyx protection ones with the Tibetan silver bead. Also on my website. Pre-orders, okay? All right. I will see you guys in the extended. Love you.